We're hanging out with Leroy Stagger. He's opening for Los Lobos on January 23rd. They're going to be at the 8th. So Leroy, what kind of a sound can we expect from them? It's a pretty uh, diverse show, I feel like. Yeah, um, Los Lobos has been a band for, I think, uh, is it 30 or 40 years? Um, but they've run the gamut. Um, obviously, uh, they're most famous for uh, the soundtrack to La Bamba. Um, but they've done, they've collaborated with the Grateful Dead, with Eric Clapton, with Neil Young. Um, so they run the gamut from traditional uh, Mexican music to uh, blues, to rock and roll, to um, Americana, to folk. Um, so, I mean, I've, I've played with them a couple times and seen them a few times, and their set changes every night, which is really cool. Um, so you never know what you're going to get, but it's going to be really good. And now what are you hoping to bring to the show opening for the night? What do you hope to bring to the night? I just hope to have a lot of fun. Um, uh, we're going to, we always kind of, anytime we get a chance to play in front of a big audience, we kind of try to bring our A game and, and uh, you know, I just want to have fun. It, it, it's, it's, it's a real honor to get in, to play in front of a, a big crowd in, in our hometown, or in my hometown. Um, and uh, to especially to get to hang out with Los Lobos again is amazing. Uh, we're doing the Calgary show too. And I'm just more than anything just excited that um, Mike was able, Mike Spencer was able to bring uh, a, a great world-class show to Lethbridge. Um, when we got asked to do the Calgary show, I immediately thought, you know what, we got to try to get these guys to Lethbridge. Um, so I'm glad it's worked out. And it looks like it's going to sell out, which is amazing. And uh, I just, you know, I'm just going to try to live in the moment and, and soak it all in and, and have a good time. Yes, absolutely. So do you think that says something for the Lethbridge music scene? Are we acquiring bigger names? Do you think Lethbridge is becoming a popular place for these bands to come? Well, I think that um, because of the economics of touring nowadays, I think that a lot of bigger artists are having to find smaller markets to mm -hmm. fill dates. Um, I know we had Steve Earle here a couple years ago, which was amazing. Um, I think that because this show is, will do well, I think it will inspire Mike or other promoters to bring in bigger acts. Um, I still don't know if we have the market to sustain a ton of big shows or medium shows, um, but I think it's a step in the right direction. Now, you released a new record in June, is that right? Yeah. And so can we expect some sounds from that, and then maybe some old and new, a mix yeah. of everything? Um, actually, the, the last record that we did release in June was produced by Steve Berlin from Los Lobos. Um, but I've kind of, I, I'm at the end of that cycle for that record, and I've kind of started to delve into my back catalog a bit. Um, we have a new member, uh, Jeff Hillhorst, who's a keyboard player from, uh, he came from an amazing, a uh, popular band called the Deep Dark Woods. He's playing with us, um, and so it's been fun to kind of go into the back catalog, find some more uh, keyboard uh, oriented stuff that, that's in there and, and kind of pull that out. So I think a good mix for, for the show in Lethbridge of my, like my catalog. a great night, great music. So that's Los Lobos. Leroy Stagger is opening for them on January 23rd at the Yates.